You know what the real question is? Do I trust you two to be quiet? Yeah, if you will. Yeah. I actually won't be too loud. I haven't got much to say today. I already hate myself and I've only been filming for 43 seconds. That's me when I wake up. And now are you going to behave while I film? I'm always good. And my t-shirt is now wanting to strip. Excellent. How to be a professional YouTuber 101. Strip every time you go on camera. That's kind of ironic given the story I'm about to tell. Hey. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I was looking at the viewfinder. I suck. So, um, I'm back. Hello. I took a few days break because Christmas happened. Should we put my glasses on so I look more deep? Professional. Professional at how to get abducted. I don't even know how to intro this video. <coughs> this bit for this story, I need to take you back to when I was 12. So, uh, cute emo hacker. Oh wait, no, I wasn't cool until, um, 2012. Ah. Nah, that, that's too fa that's, that's 2009 me when I was 12. The story for this video, I don't even know where to start with it. So it kind of starts on MSN but then transferred to Facebook. I'm not going to try and explain what MSN is too much because it's not really relevant but basically I met a guy on MSN then transferred to Facebook and don't add people on Facebook that you don't know. That's the life message of this video. So yeah, I met a guy who was a little bit older than me. I was 12 and he was 36. Clearly I'm a match made in heaven. I really shouldn't be taking the piss, but I can't not because I'm in the mood. Life lesson, don't add people you don't know on Facebook because they might abduct you if you're stupid enough to give them your address. I just want to add before you actually get into this video that this at the time was a very terrifying thing. Now I don't think twice about it. Um, Weekend up or so has uh, definitely brought back some memories and some stories that I want to tell you. So me and Sky was talking and we'd been talking for ages. I had no friends, I should point that out too. I had no friends at school. Whole other video, I'm not getting into that. So this guy was really nice to me, really friendly, wanted to meet up and I was like, okay, sure, whatever. And then I gave him the address of the school that I went to and arranged to meet up. Now, I want to be very clear, this guy never actually met me because my stepdad had access to my Facebook account and saw that I was messaging this person and called the police. A lot could have gone wrong with that. Like, it was a very blunt side or whatever. This guy actually ended up in prison for that because I was 12, he was 36. Bit of an issue. And that's what happens when your kids have no friends at school. I should put it out that this guy was trying, over messages, was trying to convince me to get in his car when he met me. He was going to meet me outside the school gates and he was going to go and get in his car and it, it made it sound so nice. And when I was 12, I was so easy to please. Like, I'm easy to please now. Like, I have me Dr Pepper, I'm happy. Okay, like cure for depression. <laughs> I hate myself. <laughs> I literally hate myself. But it made it sound so desirable for this 12 year old me. And the message of this video is to kids, don't add people you don't know on Facebook. To adults, make sure you know what your kids are doing. It's like even worse now, like with Instagram. Like my sister, she's 13 and she has Instagram, and literally no one knows what she does on there. Because she's got a private account, but she has, she follows like nearly a thousand people on there. And it's like, there's so many risks with it now because it's such a common thing that kids have. Like back when I was at school it wasn't as common to have Facebook like it was just kind of like beginning you have to be 13 to have it and parental permission and all that and uh, what, what I mean there is like people my age didn't have it and I didn't have any friends so I don't really know what's going on with that so I got this random request of someone here I thought I'd been talking to on MSN but MSN is a whole video in itself because this bitch was innocent as fuck and still is innocent as fuck. Innocent as fuck, okay? This story could have been a totally different one. Like, it I, it could have ended up with abduction. It could have ended up with something. It could have ended up with anything. And bear in mind, like, this is going to sound really bad, but I'm sure a lot of you who live in the UK will have heard about the whole Telford scandal thing. Um, if you haven't, it was a thing. So this links into the scandal thing because the guy who this was was then it, this year connected to that. That sounds really dark and I'm not gonna put the name out, obviously. Like, I wasn't one of them people, thank God. I know some people who were. It could have ended very differently had my family not had access to my computer and my Facebook and all my social media. It would have ended a lot differently. That's what scares me about the fact that my sister's allowed such a free-for-all of the internet. Like, it does scare me because I know what it's like. Hashtag been there, done that. I know the internet. I, the internet is my job. Hello, hi. I don't know. What should the message of this video be, Jordan? Yeah. A lot of parental control things you do 
set the security settings to max like let me show you a quick screenshot of my old account that this happened on I had, I forgot, I had 5,000 friends on there. I do not know 5,000 people now as a 21 year old. Um, as I highly doubt a 13 and 12 year old kid does either. Just be careful online and if you're an adult, make sure you know what your kids are doing. I feel like it is so important that I make this video because I filmed this last night. Well, last night, I mean like 3 a.m. I left out some really important details. For example, I'm not making a joke out of this, this story, but it happened so long ago for me that I kind of forget about it. I wanted to add that it is really important to know what kids are up to on social media because every kid has social media, whether it's Instagram, WhatsApp. Every kid these days have like the newest smartphone. I don't know, it's just so dangerous. Like they could be doing anything and a lot of time parents don't have a clue. Like I'm willing to put money on the fact that my mom does not know what my sister's doing on her phone. I'm not saying my sister's doing anything, but pretty much guarantee that she doesn't know what she's doing on a phone. Like she could be talking to anyone. And I've done this, this happened to me multiple times. Mainly with MSN. Um, MSN was like the old school social media website and you can just add anyone on there. And I ended up talking to a lot of people I didn't know on there. Just because of how, like I, I did not understand how the internet worked. Like that to me was a new thing. I didn't get access to the internet until I was like nine, ten years old. I really had no experience with the internet. And like, yeah, kids nowadays have so much access to the internet. They are a lot more than I used to, obviously. Is that a good thing? I don't know. I just thought I'd throw this out there. I wanted to make this video anyway. Um, if you are one of those kids who just accepts friend requests off people and follow random people on Instagram, please stop. Following someone on Instagram might seem really innocent, but then that means that person could- but if it's on Snapchat, that person can literally see your location. Like Twitter, they can find out anything about you. If it's on Facebook, they can find anything about you. Instagram, like, if it's a public account, you can find out anything about anyone. I just think it's so important to remind you all to just be safe online because you know, it could end so bad. And some of the messages I got off people, I thought was, I was like, oh, they're just my friends, you know? I, cause I, I didn't think anything of it. I was so innocent to the world. Cause I grew up in a family that didn't want to scare me. They didn't want to inform me of the bad people in the world. And I grew up thinking everyone was a great person. Like obviously I knew like murderers and all that. I didn't know what rape was. I didn't know what sexual abuse was. I didn't know what sexual assault was. I didn't know anything about that. My family kept me very shielded from it, which was fine in hindsight, like it makes sense. The downside to that is when this was going on, I didn't know what their motives were. I just thought, yeah, hey, I've got friends in other countries, cool, you know? Or hey, I've just got, I've made friends with someone who I don't know. That's amazing, you know? I didn't think of the big picture. I was like, oh yeah, this adult actually wants to have a conversation with me. I must be really mature. I was thinking so innocently that I didn't understand the full level and full dangers of what I was about to get into and that is the message I want to get across in this video. I was very tired when I was filming this video and Jordan was on the phone and I just hope it gives you the message that you need to be careful online and well yeah I do put my life on the internet now. I'm an adult. I don't give out my address. I use this thing like these people would be like oh yeah do you want to meet up and I would arrange to meet up with these people and then sometimes I would chicken out and be like oh yeah sorry I can't make it today or other times I would go to meet them. Like I said in the video my family had access to my Facebook so they would end up calling police or telling the school and I'd give like pulled out of lessons the person would get arrested and I'd get so open to by the police the thing is I've had to give so many statements to police about that situation because this person got imprisoned for six years because of it he that had previous convictions of it and to then this year come out as with a connection to the whole scandal that went on where I grew up it was dramatic Anyway, I'm gonna let you get on with the video. I just needed to add this in before you even start watching it because I don't want you guys to get the wrong idea of what I was trying to say. So yeah, peace guys. I don't know, I think that is it. That's it for this video. If you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and maybe leave a like, leave a comment if any video requests or questions you have. And if you're my ex, don't forget to leave that dislike on every single video as there always. Thank you for your engagement, dear. Uh, links as always in the description down below. Make sure you go follow me on Twitter because I post a, a lot on there. Bye, guys. So you find your way back home.